a clothing center, and uh, I think Isabel was instrumental in starting that. I asked Isabel to speak on this, and right away she said, no, Gloria can do the job for me. <laughs> so Gloria is going to offer uh, words about the uh, clothing center. We'll talk later, as he. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Coast Plaza has been very successful this year. Uh, it's difficult to keep account of those we serve on a monthly basis. Most of the people visit our Coast Plaza to go in to the food bank, not always, but. Uh, <coughs> Suffice it to say that a large percentage of the people that visit the food bank also come to the clothes closet. We also invite them to take, if they have anyone that they know is in need, to take anything that they think they could use, because we certainly have an overabundance of uh, clothes. Another thing that the congregation might want to keep in mind we also have a table. We put out small sample size items such as soap, shampoo, conditioner, hand lotion. If you have anything like that um, that you don't use, you bring back from a, a trip uh, from the motels, we'd be glad to get that. And another item, purses. When we bring pocketbooks in, boy, they go like that. So if you have any old purses, bring those along too. As most of you know, we've kidded you about this. Our donations have been off the charts since the inception of the clothes closet. You folks and everyone you know have been more than generous, and we thank you. At this point we pretty much know what our regulars are looking for and we put that out. We don't have a lot of space available but uh, we use it to the max. Unfortunately we can't begin to use everything we receive so we look for other places of need and so far we've donated pretty much to Seeds of Hope with a big thanks to Carl Madison for transporting excuse me, to their collection points for us. Thanks a lot, Carl. The Northern Tier Children's Home, Thrift Store in Wellsboro, and Shoes for the Shoe Man, which Diana Barnes will be collecting soon, we hope. <laughs> we also make some deposits in those big red containers that you see around town. As we sort clothes over the month, we set aside a lot of clothes for our UMW rummage sale in July. This year we overdid it a little. <laughs> <laughs> what was left over from that went mainly to Seeds of Hope and the Salvation Army and some items we took back to the clothes closet, things we knew that we could use. Also from now on, we're going to be donating to the local Goodwill stores. After the September giveaway, we'll be making our transition to winter clothes, of which we are already well stocked, believe me. <laughs> the clothes closet is a bit of work and takes a fair amount of time, as does the food bank, but there's a real need in our community, so we have to keep helping where we can. Uh, also, we have an awful lot of fun together, believe me. As for our cast of characters, <laughs> Isabel Stray, Joyce Cartwright, Kathy Atkinson, Judy Savoy, who also brought a friend Peggy to help this last month, Ben and Brenda Wilson. Um, also, I think Lucille helped us a couple times, so thanks. Um, many thanks to you, Ms. <coughs> Ross who I think got this whole thing started, did a great job, thanks Eunice. I hope I haven't left anyone out. In closing, let me say that our biggest job continues to be keeping the food bank crew entertained on giveaway day, right? 
Okay, so anyone have any questions or concerns regarding the closed closet? Anything you'd like to ask or anything? Yeah. A question. Uh, one thing came up last year when I was doing the income caps um, for people's charitable contributions is do you give out slips that say what like the value would be towards the food that's donated? Or the clothing is donated. The value, I'm sorry, I'm a little hard of hearing, so I didn't catch the last. Like if you take clothing to the Salvation Army, you can get a slip from them that tells what the value is so they can deduct it on their income taxes. I think that's true. But Does I anyone know. know for sure? Yes. That yes. is true. But we, we don't we do that. We, don't, we do don't do that. We have no. not done that as a as a great thing. Um some might wonder why we give to the Salvation Army, to the Goodwill, to Northern Tier Children's Home when they turn around and sell the items. But we think that the money goes um, for a very good, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ministry. Yes. Um, as in the case of the Northern Tier Children's Home, that goes to the children at the children's home. Now, some of you might know that that was shut down for a while. I still don't think it's in operation yet. If it is, I haven't heard that it is. But they have also been using that money to help procure someone else to, um, to pay the rent for the Northern Tier Children's Home. So that's still going to a good cause. Um, and also in places such as the Goodwill store, they employ people. They may not pay them an awful lot, but they do employ people. And that uh, keeps, uh, continues to provide jobs for the people in our community or communities close by. So we think that's a good thing. If anyone has any suggestions, any way that we can improve it, don't be afraid to ask. We're always, uh, you know, willing to hear any ideas you might have. Anything else? Thank you. Um, and 